From living in extreme poverty as a child to possessing a million-dollar net worth in her late 40s, this is the story of how a lady named Jackie not only escaped the rat race but also achieved tremendous success. This story is a must-read because it demonstrates how anyone, regardless of financial background, can achieve financial success. Jackie's amazing tale proves that riches are attainable, regardless of prior financial experience or the hand dealt to you. Welcome to Cashflow Canvas, where we teach lessons about investment and money-saving techniques. If you want to make your financial future better, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates. Imagine a small village in southwestern Ohio where the undulating hills frame Jackie Cummings' Kosi's story. Her early years were a mix of simplicity and difficulty, a battle on dirt roads against the limits of rural poverty. Those early recollections provided the foundation for Jackie's incredible journey, which took her from financial struggle to a million-dollar net worth. Jackie's childhood, like many others, was mirrored by financial insecurity. Her family was no stranger to financial difficulties. Money was always scarce in a home with limited means and six siblings. Growing up with a single father made it difficult to make ends meet, and there was frequently more month than money. This scarcity mindset had been passed down to her from her father. Many people, however, never learned to overcome it. As she grew older, the persistent financial stress spurred Jackie into making a solid decision. She never wanted to go through the misery of being broke again. She resolved to seek higher education after graduating from high school to break free from the cycle of financial hardship and forge a path entirely different from the one she was accustomed to. Jackie found herself in a situation where she had to pay for her own college degree to create a steady financial future. This meant taking a full course load while also working full-time to make ends meet. Despite the difficulties, the experience of earning her own money gave her a tremendous sense of empowerment. It was a sense of financial independence that she now considers eye-opening, influencing the way she perceives money. Jackie marvels at how she managed to juggle such a rigorous schedule throughout those years. As a young adult, the combination of academics and a full-time job was challenging, but it also fostered in her a sense of discipline and tenacity. Interestingly, Jackie believes that managing her income and juggling her duties taught her more valuable life lessons than anything she studied in a classroom. It became a profound money lesson for her, teaching her the value of financial independence, ingenuity, and the capacity to negotiate financial complications. The difficulties she encountered during those years impacted her perspective on money and its real-world ramifications, teaching her the value of hard work and financial discipline in a manner that traditional education could not. Unlike many recent college grads stuck with debt and viewing monthly payments as a permanent commitment, Jackie set her fire number or the amount of money she needs to become financially independent and retire early at around $1 million. She, like many others in the FIRE group, accepted the 4% rule, which provides a clear picture of how much is required to finance retirement needs. To retire comfortably, you need to save 25 times your annual expenses, according to this rule. This entails withdrawing 4% of your portfolio each year, adjusted for inflation, without depleting your funds. While the 4% rule is only a guideline and by no means perfect, it provided her with a roadmap to early retirement. It gave her a concrete objective to aim towards as well as a practical means to track her progress. Jackie knew the significance of achieving the million-dollar mark as her annual expenses ranged from $40,000 to $45,000. It wasn't about acquiring fortune for the purpose of amassing wealth. It was about securing a future free of financial anxieties. Jackie worked for a data analytics firm for almost 20 years, eventually becoming a manager with an annual salary of around $80,000. Many people assume that to truly advance financially, you must earn a six-figure salary. However, this is where Jackie's story diverges. She firmly believes that it's not only about how much money you make, but also about what you do with what you have. Instead of chasing a large salary, Jackie focused on being frugal with her money, which meant she didn't have to spend more time working and away from her family. 
She recognized that making wise financial decisions could often outweigh the need for a large wage. Making wise spending decisions can start immediately. In many cases, it's a spending problem rather than an income problem. It wasn't about making more money for Jackie. It was about making the most of what she had. This perspective enabled her not only to survive but to thrive, demonstrating that with the right mindset and a little financial understanding, anyone can become financially independent and reduce their reliance on a salary from a boss they dislike. Despite reaching her fire number at 46, Jackie chose to work for a few more years to have a little more cushion. Unlike many individuals, she enjoyed her job. So instead of viewing her wealth as a means to an end, she saw it as a source of peace of mind and freedom. Working a bit longer was an obvious choice in exchange for the additional financial security she would gain by allowing her savings to grow for a few more years. Jackie's budget is quite consistent, with annual spending ranging between $40,000 and $45,000. Her monthly house payment was roughly $1,000 at the time she was interviewed, and she had no outstanding auto payments because she owned her vehicle outright. Grocery bills often ranged between $400 and $500 each month. She might enjoy dining out or socializing with friends occasionally. Taking into account additional costs like utilities and cell phone bills, Jackie is far from a financial minimalist, unlike many early retirees who strive to save every possible penny. She enjoys saving money when she can, but she isn't obsessed with finding every possible way to save money. If she can save money by switching her vehicle insurance or phone plan, she will do it, but it will have little impact on her daily spending. Jackie invests most of her money in the stock market, primarily through index funds, but she also enjoys investing in individual stocks, leveraging her 401k, which her firm matched, was a significant wealth driver. These wise behaviors were crucial in her journey to becoming a millionaire. Contrary to the rush of Monday morning commutes, Jackie's routine has become more relaxed and leisurely. Monday morning hustle has given way to moments of freedom, relaxation, and opportunity. She finds solace in enjoying the natural beauty that surrounds her rather than succumbing to the chaos of a frantic workday. Jackie adores the outdoors and relishes activities like hiking, leisurely walks, and park strolls. The low cost of these activities makes them even more appealing. Unlike expensive hobbies or lavish entertainment, her love of nature comes free of charge. Hiking trails, public parks, and scenic pathways are not only easily accessible, but also extremely inexpensive. In fact, most of these activities are entirely free, allowing Jackie to pursue her passion without breaking the bank. Jackie's experience can serve as encouragement to others seeking financial independence. The relatability of her story is what makes it so captivating. She didn't experience unusual luck or an unexpected financial windfall. Instead, her story mirrors the experiences of many others. For individuals like her who come from low-income households and have a negative attitude towards money, Jackie's experience demonstrates that with determination, wise financial decisions, and hard work, it is possible to attend college, secure a stable career, and achieve financial freedom. No, it's not simple, but it's not an impossible or unreplicable scenario. Her story aligns with numerous others who faced similar childhood struggles. It provides a roadmap showing that you can journey towards financial freedom, even if your circumstances haven't been perfect. As we conclude, I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope you found value in this video and learned something new, and I look forward to seeing you in our future videos. I would deeply value it if you could like this video and subscribe to our channel. Your support will help us to create more valuable content, and we can work together to secure your financial future. What are the key takeaways from this video that you can share in the comment section?